So this just went up online now, in stock. You can grab it. <laughs> what are you doing? It's <laughs> fists. Do you want it even fists? Uh, anyway, Star Vader, uh, pop culture exclusive. Online, now available individually or in a mystery box, but hey. Also, you can weigh a baby Yoda. What? Are we doing that? We are now. <laughs> yeah, we are. What have you done? We're giving away baby Yodas. And we're giving away a bubble pen. That's a huge prize win. This one, and Sandy's paying for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, um, three awesome Star Wars oh, prizes just, because it was made for this week. It was the collector box. It was the collector box. Yeah. You dummy. Nah, yeah. we can sub that. Anyway, we can sub it. We can sub it. Can you edit this? Yeah. Thing? Can you edit? <laughs> oh, no, it's live. Oh. Anyway, guys, if you want to go on the running tour, <laughs> all you need to do is just leave a comment on this feed. Ask us some questions. Ask us some outrageous questions. Last week we had a lot of fun. People were really. There are some big ones out there, so yep. um, Will's going to be reading some questions out throughout the show, but he'll also be picking some names at random from people who comment and put it on the wheel. At the end of the episode, we'll spin our prize wheel, and uh, some lucky winners are going to win. But, again, all you need to do to go in the running is just leave a comment. Ask us questions. Yeah. We like questions. We, we do, do like we questions. We do enjoy when we have questions. Speaking of questions, i got the first question. Here we go. What are, we, are we giving away the box or the Yoda? Oh, I guess it's the Yoda. No, see, I feel bad now. Do people even mind? Uh, I feel like the collect box is better because you never know what you're gonna get. You well, know, maybe we should start with that so they know what you're gonna get. All right, guys, start in the middle of the table. Let's yeah. start with some Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Um, let's go through some of these awesome new replicas uh, and this collect box. That's what coming stuff. See, I feel cool. like you're gonna be the most knowledgeable. All right, great. So let's start up with these awesome Hasbro. Uh, one one time, time, time. Oh yeah. Why don't, why don't we do that? Of course. Um, so if you're not familiar, Hasbro. Do awesome black series uh, collectors, and uh, some of them feature voice changing. Uh, yeah, sweet modulation! Yeah, look at this. Uh, it could be anyone under this. Uh, so modulated, I can't even tell who you are anymore. I don't even know myself. But uh, these are really awesome replicas. Uh, they're a first order stormtrooper helmet. I'm getting so distracted by this thing. <laughs> uh, that I. I, I love the delay. It's really yeah. It's constantly so I'm saying something and I'm hearing it back. Uh, anyway, really, really awesome, uh, accurate replicas. They're really affordable. So something like this will only set you back one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine, two hundred dollars, uh, and of course it'll be free shipping Australia wide. Really great quality. Um, you know, even though it's plastic, it doesn't overly feel like it. Uh, and of course. Uh, We've also got Josh's Wedge Antilles prop replica that just came in. It's looking really nice in that one. Uh, again, all of these helmets are nice. $199.99. There's Dark Vader, uh, Boba Fett. There's heaps of different prop replicas that Hasbro do. So yeah, it's really good quality. This one's specifically part of Hasbro's The Black Series. We also sell their Marvel line of Marvel yep. Legends um, collectibles as well. Um, but you don't get better life size replicas for this price point. Hasbro are leading. Um, in that area, um, and when they have fun additions like yeah, the, the the waste modulation, they're just really, really great collectibles you want to have. But um, uh, still on the Hasbro way, they also do amazing lightsabers. Uh, so Force FX uh, is the brand, uh, and uh, yeah, so go press the green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying <laughs> that they're really awesome. The hilts are highly detailed. The hilts are the best part. The hilts are yeah, this one's so dark really detailed. detailed. Are they all? Dark like that because uh, they're super heavy. Yeah, yeah, they always are uh, in really detail. This is uh, Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber. And it uh, does come with the, the alternate end, yeah. so you can kind of have it as a, a yeah, so you basically lightsaber. Can unscrew and take out the actual uh, blade itself. Um, but why would you, when it lights up, uh, 
and mace. Sounds. Sound lines of sound. And lights. And it does come with a display stand. This is the first time I've seen them actually do a vertical display stand. Yeah. The rest have all been horizontal. But I really like this vertical because you've got a lot more options to display. And he was really excited about that. Like, oh, you can stand up. That's crazy. Yeah, that's great for your table design. On the topic of Star Wars, Dean Walkley wants to know everyone's favourite Star Wars movie of all time. Uh, mine is Rogue One. It's lame. It's Revenge of the Sith, mate. For sure. Yeah, thank you. I reckon Empire Strikes Back, to be honest. Yes, Josh, I know you've seen all of them and you're a massive Star Wars fan. Dean Rogue One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there are so many awesome films. Uh, yeah, I'm more of a prequels man myself. Oh, yeah, you are. Jar Jar Binks. Oh. Yeah, Jar Jar. Uh, yeah, but Jar -Jar. anyway, really awesome, highly detailed uh, prop replica lightsabers. That one will see back three hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Now, those are all well and good, but what I'm really excited about, guys, is the new Grogu uh, plush from Mattel. Now, uh, if you saw last year's model, it was a really, really great toy, but it lacked a lot of features that some of the other Baby Yoda uh, toys in the market had at that time. It didn't have any feet, but uh, it did have kind of a bean bottom that it could sit on. Now, they have updated it now. He now has feet. Look at that. Look at that. And he's also got a bag. Uh, the satchel from season two, so you so can actually itself, carry right? him around. <laughs> carry him around wherever you go. Uh, he's now got uh, posable arms, so you can move Ooh. his arms around. Posable ears, so you can change the the angle of that. Uh, and Hi. sound effects. He he actually looks a lot like a whippet though. He looks a lot like a whippet. The little miniature greyhounds. He does. With yeah, the, yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah, I don't with, understand. With the ears. It's in the ears. How they, and the eyes, yeah. Anyway, it's really great. Yeah. Well, it's what, $69.99? Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive. But uh, for all the extra features, features. Yeah. Um, they incredible value for money on top of last year's one. I really like the other one, uh, myself. Yeah. I just yeah. really like the packaging of it. Yeah. Uh, it is only $49.99, uh, and it's still in stock. Uh, like Andy said, there are a lot of extras with this one as well. The voice activation, but you might not actually need all those features, and then that one. I, I picked I picked the well. previous model up for my nieces and they freaking love it, man. Yeah. Um, a really nice basic plush with a rotor head. Still has a rotor head, still has a plush body in this one, but as we said, yeah. a few extra features and the bag is a great addition as well. Yeah, for um, sure. So, carry them around. For sure. Now let's talk about this collector box. So this is uh, the gaming the gaming crates um, collector box. Inside, you will receive. I don't know if this is a mystery one or if they're all the same. Uh, yeah, Josh. Yes. No. He doesn't know. No, anyway, uh, you get a lanyard, uh, you get a patch, and you get a pin. And there's two pops in here. There might be more options than this. Again, I didn't do any research. So this looks like it's an, an old Republic thing. Yeah. Uh, so it's Star Wars box. Yes. From the games. Um, so you have Jedi Knight Revan, and you have Bastilla Shan, yeah. and... So the other two I'm pretty sure are regular pops, so yeah. I think it, this must be a set box then. Cool. So you get all these for what price in? Uh, it's fifty nine ninety nine. So two pops, a yeah. pin, lanyard, and patch, which is a pretty good deal. Considering you can only get the box, oh, you can only get the box exclusive to... These box, this box. So yeah, all content that's in this is 100 percent exclusive to this box. If you want that Jedi Knight Revan pop, you have to get it in this box. Uh, and 59.99, pretty yep. price point. So pretty good. Um, man, what else should we talk about? Let's talk about some lounge fly. Yeah, so we've got a bunch of lounge fly that has come in stock in the last uh, last couple of weeks. Um, let's start with the prize we're gonna be giving away. It's the uh, it's the Boba Fett cosplay um, mini backpack. Now it's got a nice kind of faux leather treatment to it, so it's not leather, but it is weathered as such. Um, it does have uh, some nice embossed details. It's, uh, he's no good to me, Dad. Does have the Mandalorian symbol. Um, has some embroidered logo on the side. Um, so a bit of a multimedia thing there, and some nice um, kind of stitched on elements as well. Mm. All to kind of look like both his own. That's really great. Yeah, I like it. Really great back. But uh, yeah, awesome price that we're giving away. Normally retail at $109.99, but it can be yours. If uh, all you need to do is uh, yeah, comment right. below. Right. Uh, awesome ask us question. a question. Yeah, ask us a question. Awesome question. Please ask us a good question. Good questions. That was an awesome question before. Uh, great and relevant yeah. question. 
Uh, <laughs> but so the Boba Fett, that's one of the prizes we give away. We may as well remind uh, the other, other people that have just tuned in what Darth the prizes Vader. are. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Uh, pop culture exclusive, just pop culture figure, and uh, he, he's just on his content. He's online. Yeah, can still grab him uh, either by himself or in a mystery box. It's unique. He's got the best photos. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we are giving away uh, one of these. Box. We're giving away the collector box. box. See any yeah. tears? No. Uh, we're giving away this collector box here, and we are giving away. That's it. That's three prizes. That's three prizes, guys! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Hey, but there's more lambs we have to talk about. Uh, we do have the retro um, can figure uh, design Star Wars one, so they're just kind of like illustrations based on the original designs by Kenner. Um, really simplistic, but I really like this. It's really great. There is the um, the zip around the wallet. How much? Uh, you can grab the zip around the wallet for fifty nine ninety nine. And the mini backpack, same thing. Bubble leather, kind of nice um, little treatment there. Uh, nice vegan friendly, which we like. So, um, how much? Uh, 119. 119. Very vegan, so. <laughs> yeah, so you, you, all you vegans out there, you can, uh, you can eat it as well. Hey, Wally fans, we've got the USB <laughs> lineup of, um, of Wally. Um, what are these? It's, that's, a, that's the crossbody bag, right? That is. You've got a strap, put it over like a handbag, right? But also, boom, paper. Couple Oof, of paper. Free so. paper. Boy, oh boy. That's good memories from that around. That's, that's going to be some good uh, fire. Anyway, uh, Lounge Play is great. All their character stuff, they really do this kind of like 3D stitched on details, um, which I really like. A and pleak. the Eve on the back with the boot there, which is really cool. Embossed Pixar logo. Yep. Uh, there is the matching zip around wallet. Again, Embossed Pixar logo. You've got the pop by Lounge Play. So this is a collab between Funko and Lounge Play. Now they are kind of owned by the same company, but they will occasionally team up and you'll get more of a, a uh, Funko Pop inspired design, so all the eyes on this and the um, the proportions are more based around their pop molds, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and we've got the backpack and that um, that as well. Uh, nice embroidered little leaf coming out of the, the boot there, um, and embroidered eyes on Eve, which is really great. Yeah, just a bunch of cool details. Embossed on the back, cleaning the earth, um, one cube at a time. So and Pixar embossed down the bottom is there. Sandy, how much was that? Uh, so the backpack's going to take back. Hundred dollars, uh, free shipping on that one as well. Yeah. Crossbody eight dollars and the wallet fifty. Cool. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Wonder Vision. Oh, you guys WandaVision. watch Wonder Vision? I watch Wonder Vision. I really like Wonder Vision. Yeah. Um, well, now you can get a uh, a chibi style kind of Halloween episode inspired backpack from Wonder Vision. Got the characters as they appeared in the Halloween episode. It's also got the uh, the cool um, kind of um, television uh, effect that kind of the. Entire theme of the the title. What am I thinking of? The title. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. opening, the opening credits, right? And that's that's what I'm thinking of. They're all got this kind of design. Um, and boss uh, stitch on the back. I love like you've never seen. So one division fans, we've got that. And we also have the matching zip around wallet. It's not a zip around, it's a, a clasp one. Um, same thing, same embroidered there. One division logo, design on the front, clips open, bunch of review cards. Um, Marble logo on the interior, and same thing in there. Little the zippy zip. Zips are cool, right? Features. So, works. And hey, if you like Scooby Doo, we've got a Scooby Doo backpack as well. The mystery machine. It's the mystery machine, and it mystery. Is. It is the mystery machine and the mystery. Uh, mystery Inc. Crew. It's, 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 it's mystery Inc. Kate, what? This is a good question. The mystery gang. Yeah. Who, who, who would you be? Shaggy. I feel like you're a Belmont. No, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a Shaggy. Nah, he's a Belmont. He's a Shaggy. Sure. I'm probably a combination of the two. You're yeah. definitely a Belmont, for sure. Sandy would be Fred, because yeah. they have the same boyish good yeah, looks. Yeah, you're a Fred. Fred. And Josh, Josh is the Scooby. Yeah, Josh Scooby. is definitely Scooby. Oh, he's no, so man. Of the Will is a Fred. Yeah. Oh, I hope I've ever seen him. Oh, he's a Willie. <laughs> that, well, makes, that, makes, that makes me Shaggy and no, Scooby. No, no, no. Josh can be Daphne. Daphne. Oh. I don't really mind about being Scooby. I'll be Scooby, Scooby solves most of the crimes Shaggy. anyway. Shaggy. So. Scooby. <laughs> Fred. Daffy. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is an 
awesome uh, mini backpack, really cool, uh, similar styles to that of the Mr. Machine. Of course, you can see the whole gang uh, driving uh, in the Mr. Machine. Really, I really cool. like the plastic coating, so it looks kind yeah, of like a, cool. more of a glass yeah. kind of windshield yeah. effect. Uh, and the back, you've got the back of the van itself. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, look what we got. We got the Scooby Snacks is the zipper charm on yeah. that one. Nice uh, enamel. And then the inside lining fabric is kind of some spooky eyes. Spooky eyes. Yeah, I really love spooky eyes. Pretty cool. For only $100, I think that's a really awesome uh, inspired backpack as well. There's one more, and then we can move on to some sweet pop vinyls. Where is um, This is. This is good, right? Uh, the pig. This is, 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 is on the pig. Um, I really like these eyes. They are. This one's essentially just like barely even on there. It gives a nice 3D effect. Um, and it's got a piece of cardboard. You can get free cardboard with that, which is nice. Um, and it says um, Doom 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 on the back in a nice kind of star aesthetic. Really great. See how much? $100. So, that's I'm ready, nice I'm ready you really see much in Vader Zim merch. So, very little. Definitely pick it up. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's heaps, heaps more. That has gone on yeah, we've got last week. We've loaded dozens of yeah. skews in the last uh, couple of weeks, so keep your eye on the Just Arrive section. There'll be more coming up next week as well. Um, coming so up. Fresh shipments. So, yeah, yeah Lounchfly doing some of the best um, kind of clothing oh, and accessories coming up. Definitely check them out. At you. Hey, yeah, uh, see you. What do you want to talk about? We're going to do pop finals. I uh, know a lot of people are uh, interested in the pops, so we may as well get that. We're already talking about this guy, pop culture exclusive, Darth Vader, from the final scene, Empire uh, Strikes Back. He's got his fist, he's got his lightsaber to the side. He's essentially like, like this. Uh, I could do it with the lightsaber as well. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do it, fellas. This is, this is, you hold that. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, right? And Just like that. Um, and then, how do you make this go? It's the green. Woo! Red as well, yeah. That was awful. It was pretty good. Was awful. I don't know. You that made was... different opinions about what awful is. Addy is the least resemblance to Darth Vader, probably in the room. It's true. I don't know. It's true. He's, he's starting to have the same. Guess I'm not a hidden Christensen type, like my mum always told me I was, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, up for pre order at the moment. This one will be shipping out in the next few weeks. Uh, we have the vintage Boba Fett. This one is styled after the original 1979 Kenner action figure. So if you're thinking, hey, why does he have all these colours? It's because that's what the original toys look like. Is it not the holiday? Oh, no. It's not the holiday. It's not the holiday. It's what the, it's what the figure looked like. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, colour scheme yeah. inspired by that. Um, we also have, which I don't think we've made in stock yet, but we have Obi-Wan Kenobi on Tatooine. This is part of the um, the year of the something. I don't know, there's the shield and there's Star Wars. I don't know. Year of the lightsaber. But it comes with a pin, um, so they're redoing a bunch of existing moulds and adding some pins in it and putting them on new bases. Um, but they're a great way to pick up some of the more classic figures that you may not have been able to grab the first time around. Mm -hmm. um, so Obi Wan Kenobi, as you appeared on Tatooine, and uh, we've got the Stormtrooper. This is twenty twenty one um, celebration of Pride. Um, Funko are putting out a few different um, licenses, all celebrating Pride in this rainbow aesthetic. Um, but with, as far as Star Wars went, they they picked Stormtrooper. Um, so you can add this one to your collection. Got a nice rainbow color base as well, which is cool. They're nice, they're nice and colorful, for yeah. sure. Hey, uh, uh, let me get the, look. Um, uh, speaking of umbrellas, where's the umbrella from Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Gotta point it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about Umbrella Academy, we're gonna get the umbrella from Umbrella Academy, right? <laughs> I was actually <laughs> asked earlier, how much is that one? Hey, Sydney. It's been a while. Uh, uh, six months. Uh, uh, 30 bucks? No, nah, 40 yeah, bucks? Like 20 maybe bucks. 50 bucks. 70 bucks, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you search Umbrella Academy Umbrella? Academy umbrella. Just a, yeah, you know what I mean? If you go Umbrella Academy Umbrella. You sure? Yeah, 100%. Two umbrellas. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I don't know. One I remember, Academy. I remember doing it and I was like, nah. There we go. Right. Search Umbrella Academy Umbrella. You'll find this umbrella from Umbrella Academy. And it's really good. Academy. Made by Dark Horse. Uh, we've pumped out some awesome clothes. Anyway. Got the new pops. Sandy, Season two. Sandy likes the well. Sandy wants to read the comics, so yeah. Sandy still hasn't read the comics. So Sandy no. hasn't watched the show because yeah. he wants to read the comics. He yeah. doesn't want them to be spoiled by the show. Yeah. But I've seen the show. I haven't read the comics. But anyway, we have got Klaus, we have got Allison, 
Uh, we've got Vanya. Uh, we've got number five. Uh, we've got Ben. Uh, we've got Luther. We've got um, uh, Pogo. Yeah, little baby uh, Pogo and Diego down there, down there. It's very hard to see because I put toys in the way. Mm -hmm. um, Silly. So that's 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 Umbrella Academy. We showed some of the new keychains that arrived last week, and there's the the line pops. Yeah. Um, so you can grab that. You can grab it for 130 dollars for the full set of eight. Otherwise, of course, individually for 19.99. But really awesome pops. Uh, larger range, uh, of course. There were pops that were released for season one, uh, and then we have these awesome ones. <laughs> season two pops. Thanks, Andy. Hey. Really, really awesome uh, umbrella. Can twirl it. Look at yeah, it. You can. It's got wow. windows. Black and white. Everybody loves Star Wars. Yeah, of course. Uh, but there are more thought vinyls. We just released uh, the Avatar last, the last Airbender, Aang Birthday uh, kind of uh, Spirit Glow version. Uh, really awesome pop vinyl, and of course a part of the Birthday line that uh, Funko have released, uh, in which the figure is only 20%, uh, oh sorry, is 20% recycled material, the box is 80%, uh, and uh, yeah, the uh, actual blister window is 120% recyclable. 100%. 120% recyclable. Yeah, 120%. Oh, that's recyclable. really Let's recyclable. Let's go with 120%. Anyway, but, that's like a good ratio. It's like total production, 50%. You get extra material. Is recycled, um, which is great. Yeah, it's like 100%. It's full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 80 plus 20. It's 100, Andy. Um, so. Really great. It's great to see Funko doing this um, each year. Um, hopefully they yeah. might expand it into their full line eventually. But you know what's the best soft drink? The best soft drink is Dr. Pepper. But the next best thing is Coca-Cola Cherry. That is uh, absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah, that was okay. incredible. I thought you would be What's your favourite soft drink? Tell us in the comments. Yeah. But Dr. Pepper, the next best thing, uh, Cherry Coke, uh, which is really awesome. And of course they've done a pop vinyl for it. Uh, there is the Coke can holding a nice little cherry. Uh, really, really awesome. You can also grab the classic uh, Coke can. You can also grab the Coke bottle top with a bottle opener. There's a diamond glitter Coke can. There's all different Coca-Cola uh, pop vinyls that have been released. But this is a really awesome uh, pop vinyl. You know, I'm sure there's lots of <laughs> Diet Cokes, Coke If you guys like drinking cherry Coke, you'll probably want a figure to remind yeah. yourself how thirsty you are. Yeah. All Just the time. Don't drink it because I haven't got liquid. There's no liquid in it, but hey, oh. you can buy one sending my shout you look at cherry Coke next time you see it. I might, I might. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, for sure. Uh, and we've got an awesome Alice in Wonderland, so they're, they're redoing uh, a lot of the Alice in Wonderland range, or sorry, in new molds, uh, and uh, this is a really awesome version of Alice, of course, holding uh, the bottle that she drinks and makes her uh, smaller. Uh, but really awesome, newer mold, uh, heaps of different characters that they will be releasing. I really like the box art uh, on this one as well. Uh, we've got all the different uh, flowers, the flowers. Really, really cool. Really, really dear. That Mad Hatter looks sweet. Does, does. Uh, you've got Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, March Hare, which they've never done before. Oh. Uh, Twiddle Dean, Twiddle Dumb. Uh, and I think that Queen of Hearts is already been And I think we still have the Caterpillar and stuff from oh. Spring Convention. So. What, a, what an upsell there, Andy. Yeah. Josh, you got a couple of pop arms when you hand them, mate. Do you guys really like bands like Guns N' Roses where the front man wears bandanas and has roses and stuff? Well, from Poison, it's Brett Michaels. <laughs> 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 so this comes in two different variants. This is uh, normal Brett Michaels without a cowboy hat and Brett Michaels the Chase version. Hey Josh, with a cowboy how hat. do Chase pieces work in pop culture? Uh, so normally they're one <laughs> Normally they're one and six, so I think this will be like a one six ratio. Um, we can't guarantee that you can get a chase if you order six. It's just kind of how it's played. There might be one and six, or there might be a full box of six and thirty six of them. So we can never guarantee it. You can't request one either, unfortunately. Although it's pretty awesome to get one. Yeah. So how, how, how like when could someone get them? Like what's you the just, process? You just gotta you just gotta order. You just place you the just order. Right. So you place an order for this guy, and you could get this guy. Wow. Yeah, and and how, how is it decided? It's just random. It's totally random. So, our pickers, they'll be picking your order, they'll pick something up out of the box. Oh wow, it's a chase piece. Wow, well done. Chase that piece. So if I um, came out you and asked for one, will I get one? Uh, that's not how we play the game. We need to chase. We make you chase it, because that's how it's intended. Oh, chase. Sad. Chase. You just gotta chase it. But they're really chase. awesome pops. Uh, $19.99 each for all the standard pops. Rick and Morty. 
uh, an amazing uh, animated TV series if you haven't seen it, uh, which I'm sure you have. Uh, but at what point did you start watching it? That's a great question. Andy, from the start. Uh, it was like 2013. Yeah, ages ago. Uh, these are some of the more newer uh, versions of the characters from some of the later, later episodes. Josh, I think a couple of these were from probably simpler episodes, not too complicated. Uh, like did, that, the did, train, yeah. uh, train one. The train one was you. a nightmare. Yeah. That was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of different realities to uh, get your head around. But uh, we've got uh, Rick with Glorzo, as well as there's Morty at the top with Glorzo. What is a Glorzo? Uh, well, it's the little... Fake fan. Fake fan. Fake news. Uh, no, I get Parasite. Yeah, yeah it's like Parasite. Parasite. But these Glorzos are dead, and that's why they're just taped on. They're not pretending to be yeah. a Glorzo. Oh, infected by one. Well, well whatever. Uh, we've got the story train. That's the that's the complicated story train. Evil Morty that confused you, Josh. Uh, it was got... a tough episode. <laughs> it really <laughs> was. It really <laughs> was. Yeah. There were too too many layers. Yeah. I didn't get it at all. There was too it much was science in this yeah. science fiction program. And then didn't it end up just being about commercialism and how the train was broken yeah. and you just need to go and buy more? Well, hey, talk about buying things. We've got a new line of Rick Morty Pops to, to buy. Uh, and Queen Summer, which is from the uh, Rick at the Glorzo episode as well. Uh, that Rick and Morty, spoiler, find out that Summer's the Queen of. Uh, and finally, we've got uh, Bathromol. Mal. Bathromol? From Game of I'm Thrones. Just, I'm from Game of Thrones. Uh, there's uh, it's, it's the Danny from Rick and Cersei. Cersei. <laughs> uh, but I can't remember. It's sentient talking dragon. Uh, but really awesome. You can grab a full set here for $100. Uh, $20 discount. So free pops. Pretty sweet. Free shipping as well. Uh, feel free to check those ones out as well as the full range. A couple more pop and then we'll move on to some other stuff. White man can't jump. How outrageous is that statement? Try it. Do it. Let's put it to the test. Can't. Can't do it. Can't possibly jump. Josh, I bet you can jump. It's a jump. You, you mustn't be white then. Uh, but you can definitely grab uh, these uh, pop barnas. There is the two pack of Sydney and Billy. Uh, otherwise, you can purchase them individually uh, like so. Are they the same molds? Uh, that is a great question. I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, but, people, uh, at home. people at home. Because <laughs> I can't see them right now. Uh, but really awesome. Uh, I think you'll end up paying a couple of extra dollars uh, to get them on their own as opposed to uh, together in the two pack. <clears throat> hey, there's a bargain. Yeah, well, get it while hey, it lasts. I think that's all the Funko we've got. That is. Um, but we've got plenty more to talk about. We do. Too much. See, let's talk about books now so we don't forget like oh, this Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's, let's keep me talking. Uh, we've got some awesome books, but this is only a small snapshot of some things that we've got in. We've got Michael Jackson in comics, uh, a little bit of a story about Michael Jackson, uh, from the Jackson 5 all the way up to Thriller, uh, to his other <laughs> endeavours in life. Really awesome by NBM. Uh, they do Beatles in comics, Rolling Stones in comics, Bob Marley in comics, all these really cool rock. Do rock they, and roll. Do they have uh, Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys? Yeah, I think. I think comments? No, they do don't. Have but Black Bulls and comments. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, no. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's some really other awesome books as well, like I said. Uh, In Love and Pajamas, nice little, uh, nice little story, graphic novel. I really like it. It's a nice little, cute little tale. Uh, I follow this artist on Instagram, and she's on Reddit a lot as well. But yeah. I really like her, um, her, her things, and now they've been hey. assembled into. Uh, you like you the, like uh, the collection. You like stickers. I like stickers. It comes with some stickers there. Sweet. So who's, who's published this? Uh, this is a uh, Andrews McNeil published. Nice. So pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, but there you know, were also some uh, books for kids. We've got The Incredible Hulk. Uh, this is a Mighty Ward book. Uh, really nice and simple. Uh, awesome for young kids. Yeah, you can Mighty go for Ward. Listen to this, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I just had to make that joke, everyone. Sandy, keep going. One of my favourite uh, film directors, John Carpenter, started up Storm King Productions, uh, pretty much a graphic novel company. Uh, and here we have John Carpenter's Storm King Kids. Or Storm Kids. So uh, this is kind of like Goosebumps, but his own uh, independent IP, uh, tackling some awesome kind of yeah, awesome horror titles. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like I like spooky things. Same. I think this is really awesome. Uh, so if you're a fan of Goosebumps, namely, uh, you're a fan of any kind of just 
awesome spooky content. I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, we'll keep going. Terminator vs. Uh, Transformers, the crossover that you didn't think would ever happen, but has happened. Does it count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, is, no, it's not. Is, is it regular size Terminators going up against Transformers, or are they Transformers size Terminators? Uh, I'm telling you, it's actually Transformers, because they're pretty much the same kind of build, right? No. Like they're no. robots. No. Yeah, but they're different what are they kinds of robots. They're actually robots in disguise. That's like the whole thing with Terminator. No, right? not, That's true. not an endoskeleton. Yeah. Not an endoskeleton. No, it looks like a regular sized uh, endoskeleton. And we're going purely by the, by the slogan. We've got heaps to get through. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Morbius. Uh, it's about to be a film with Jared Leto. Yeah, yeah uh, so go through the origins. Uh, so we've got some classic to stories, uh, the origin, uh, as well as probably first appearance, some later comic books featuring Morbius. Awesome uh, kickstart to get you uh, well informed for the new film. Is that uh, canon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will all of Marvel Comics is canon, uh, with the exception of some MCU titles. Well, uh, an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you try talking for the whole show. You, you're bound to slip up. We got I some. Say, I say words. Yeah, you do. I was doing the first half. Do you like the sound of your voice, Josh? Uh, we've got some <laughs> awesome die cut storyboard uh, story books here. Story uh, books. The sequels. Uh, Star Wars sequels: Rise of Skywalker, The Last Jedi, and The Force Awakens. Oh, so all the really good movies. Yeah, the best ones. Uh, these are awesome as well as another kids book. Uh, if you love the sequels, uh, you can get your kids into them as well. Sorry. Love the singles. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> that's okay. I know people do. Uh, really nice. Really ch uh, on the cheaper side as well. I think they're only I think they're only twenty bucks each. Twenty third. Pretty good. And if you like Star Wars but don't like Star Wars, you might like Star Trek: Deep, Deep Space Nine. This is uh, kind of an illustrated yeah, handbook okay. to uh, the Deep Space Nine. Uh, ship as well as the USS Defiant. I didn't open this one, uh, so I can't show you what's inside, but they're really awesome. It goes through awesome uh, illustrations. Deep Space Nine is a uh, Star Trek series. I did not get into it. Yeah. No. Josh, I know you're a huge uh, Star Trek fan as well. Thank Trekker. Yeah. Trekker. 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 <laughs> I know. But while we're, uh, I'm not quite sure whether we have the other ones in stock. These ones tend to uh, move pretty quickly, but well worth it. Those are those just a little snapshot of some of the books we've come in. Definitely recommend checking it out on the website. Heaps and heaps of content going up. I like it. Hey, Josh, yeah. let's go talk about some uh, NBA teams, right? No. Some Anna Bay figures. Yeah. Some 1 6 scale figures from Anna Bay we have. Uh, <laughs> let's start with uh, LeBron James. So, from the 2019 2020 season, um, yeah, oh, 2020, 2021, 2020. I'm going to say 2020. This you couldn't be there in person, but anything. this is like the next best thing to being there in person is having your own LeBron James 1 6 scale action figure. And depending on your tickets, arguably better, right? Arguably figure, better, because yeah. way closer up. You even got his tattoos along his arms here, which is a, it's a really nice little feature that they do. Um, so he comes with also a, a training or the pre game tracksuit, which is pretty sweet. Comes with his little. Uh, tracky bottoms there comes with a pair of uh, LeBron 17s on his little LeBron feet He also comes with four NBA championship trophies just to show you that he is the second greatest basketball player of all time um, Yeah, it's super sweet. Um, it's available or it's, it will be available in stock on the website soon um, But yeah, there we go number 23 LeBron James um, also from NBA at 1-6 scale We've got seven foot one Shaquille O'Neal what I really like about this figure is the sweat. He's if you get up close, it's he's, too it's too much. He's oh, well. he's like he's sweaty. If you look at his oh. arms as well, he is very sweaty. He's too he's sweaty. Detail. No, but he was always that sweaty. He's oh, a hustler. Right. He I don't almost, need my toys doing that. Sweaty. He almost looks like he sweats more than me, and that's saying something. Sandy sweats a lot. Sandy does sweat a lot. So. Uh, we got Shaquille O'Neal from the 1997-1998 season uh, where he started his run to win three consecutive NBA championships and be arguably the greatest center of all time. That's NBA, guys. So, uh, yeah. Arguably greatest center of all time. Right. Anybody, sure. anybody disagree? I like him in that genie movie. He's actually quite a bit of things. I didn't, I didn't uh, know he was in a genie movie. That was it? Are you done talking now? Or? Uh, yeah, well, I yep. guess if you like. Awesome. No, 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 it's up to you. Talk about the sweat. What are you talking about the sweat? Who talks about the sweat? 
Come no, the sweat, the, like, the, the sweat wear. The like, sweat, the, this yeah, tattoo, it comes with the basketball, yeah. come with the, the magnetic basketball, which is pretty cool as well. So LeBron James comes with a few ex accessories. Uh, you've got uh, Josh the sweats. Uh, can you see the purple things right there? Josh? I already talked about them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I talked about them. No, I wasn't listening. Yeah, I talked about this. Oh, cool. Oh. Well, it comes with those. You can clothe him, uh, so you can pretend that, you know, he's yours to clothe. Uh, <laughs> he also does come with some uh, basketball trophies. What, what are those trophies, Josh? What? Did you already talk? I talked about them. You aren't listening. Uh, yeah, I wasn't. How much are they? Oh, uh, all right. Well, you can grab uh, LeBron James $450 or $59.99. You can grab uh, Shaq for $4.99. Which is weird because he's way bigger. I miss bigger. Yeah, I like him a lot more. Hey, also in six scale figures, we have the Night Monkey, Spy Man, Peter yeah. Parker, mm. whatever you want to This is the deluxe version, right? This is the deluxe version. It's got this epic oh, diorama base of, was it Molten Man? Molten Heat Man? Man? Yep. Molten Man? Um, Lava Man. Yeah, reaching up underneath. And the sculpting on this is awesome. It's really, it's actually translucent, so you can see uh, the light will really capture it really do, well. Does another one come with Shark Boy, or is that Shark Boy? And then, so there's Lava Girl there. And Shark, Shark this is Boy? a terrible joke. That's Spider Man. Anyway, this Bye, is Night Monkey as he appears in um, Venice, I think the scene was. Oh, who cares? Anyway, Sandy, he's got uh, the goggles they open and close on a hinge, or not on a hinge, you can turn off, <laughs> um, which is nice. Uh, he's got accessories, just a bunch of accessories. How much is it, Sandy? Oh, that's great. You've got everything over there. Oh, great. I do. So that's uh, $500. You can get this uh, Hot Toys 6 scale deluxe stealth suit. Spider-Man? That's not even the character name at this point. <laughs> yeah, there is also a standard version as well that you can get. Dan, stop focusing on me, focus on the product. Always the product, Dan. Always the product. Always the product. Always the product. I don't want to say Sam. I, I still haven't finished speaking about the Spider-Man. Uh, oh my god, the, the quick pins. We're, we're still on Spider-Man. There's still a standard version. Oh, we need, we need, get... we need to like, story about this. <laughs> Did you guys like Iron Man? Because here he is, coming out of the cave. Just kidding, it's not Iron Man, it's from Fallout. He's coming out of a vault. He's coming out of a vault, he's got his power armor on. It is, is it's it? the power armor NCR salvaged one six scale action yeah. figure so from the, Free Zero. So it's the new Californian Republic uh, power armor suit. That's what NCR stands for. California. Yeah. Uh, really awesome figure from Free Zero. There are a lot of different accessories uh, that come helmet, with it. The helmet on, rather than his face. Yep. His generic He's face. He's handsome. He's handsome. Yeah. So what I don't understand about these Fallout action figures, you get to design what your character looks like, right? Yep. And then they, they do this. Well, Why do they look like that? Well, that's the standard... Like? I don't know. It's like Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the standard stock character that you're presented with. And it's got a nice machine gun. Awesome machine gun. <laughs> so you can obviously pose him with uh, him holding it. Uh, you can choose to actually display him like that with the power armor on. You can also choose to display him uh, without it on, and he just has the exoskeleton kind of uh, base. Um, More like exolent <laughs> skeleton. It is. It's it a really awesome looks video. Pretty good. Uh, uh, would highly recommend around. checking uh, this one out on the website. Uh, That's really cool. Purchasing it uh, because the other ones have sold quite Ooh, quickly. They do sell so pretty quick. Yeah. This one is five hundred and ninety-nine. Yeah. But well worth it. Worth every cent. Sure. Now the, the internal armor does work with other armor sets as well, so you can shop and change. Um, and we do, I think, still have a few pure armor sets available that don't come with the base body. Look into that. <laughs> anyway, uh, one other three zero three zero uh, action figure. This is the premium scale Megatron from Transformers: The Last Night. Now I didn't see this movie, so I didn't know that he became a knight. Um, no, no, well, he doesn't. <laughs> it's just it's just a different because then you can make it in the uh, Mike Bay Transform series. Megatron goes through a lot of different looks. He, uh, was Shia LaBeouf in this one? No, so, no, this was... Uh, Marky Mark one? This was Mark Wahlberg. Uh, so I didn't watch it. Plenty more of a reason. I watched the watch first one. I watched the first three. Oh. Mark Wahlberg's probably my favourite actor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he would be. You like Boogie Nats? No, same. Oh, yeah, God. he's just your favourite actor. No, I just like him. He's in Ted. That's a good movie. He's in... Um, <laughs> What else is he in? Pain and Gain with The Rock as well. That, that was actually pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Great reason. Right. Well, Mark Wahlberg was in this film, but it's not the figure that you are purchasing. You're purchasing <laughs> Megatron uh, from 3-0. Really awesome. Uh, so figure. is Mark Wahlberg, like, just, is he in the armor? Is it like a yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is Megatron spelled 
uh, Backwards, right? Yeah, yeah. Marky Mark, Mark, more like Maggie Tron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but really awesome. Uh, it comes with, uh, of course, this awesome sword. It does come with this awesome uh, gun. gun. Lasers. Laser. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> uh, and there's also an additional uh, kind of portrait style. There is. Uh, well, it's actually quite complicated to put on, but it's. Uh, it's <laughs> You can expose uh, these ex his inner you know, kind of mouthpiece uh, and uh, remove these kind of outer armor. But really awesome, highly dynamic and articulated. Uh, you can check it out for seven hundred and fifty dollars Australian. There is also a deluxe version, which were very low on stock, uh, but he does come with an extra shield as well as some other different bits and pieces, uh, and it will only set you back. I think, uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. So. A little bit more. Well worth it. There's some statues to talk about, guys. A couple busts as well. Maybe just one bust, but hey, some statues. Uh, from Iron Studios, this is the one quarter scale dead devil uh, piece. Um, this is um, obviously based on his comic book appearance rather than the uh, Netflix series. Um, he's got uh, this is cord elastic, so you can kind of sculpt that as you need to, but. Um, I'm assuming he's got some alternate pieces, Andy? No, no, no. What you see is what you get with this, but uh, the details on it. I really, really love the pose. It's um, it's twelve hundred and ninety nine ninety nine, and the best detail I think is kind of the gothic architecture yeah. on. Um, the Art Deco is unreal on this. <laughs> Not Art Deco. <laughs> um, well, you, you had a question? question before. Someone asked if it comes in black. The Dead Devil? Yes. No, 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 just red. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, they're not. Um, but the stained glass window is, I think, the coolest feature of this that Sandy is refusing to show you. Yeah. It actually... We just showed it before. If you stand out of the way, though, it'll capture the light better. Yeah, will it? Yeah, it actually will. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I think Iron City has really nailed uh, their texturing. Uh, you know, we've got the awesome withered stone. Uh, yeah, providing that really awesome Art Deco look. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> uh, it's not contextually accurate <laughs> uh, but yeah really awesome piece Iron Studios knock it out of the park with all of their premium scale uh, quarter scale 100% their they're, they're sculpting some of the best going around in this industry which and is... I'll show you why because not only do Iron Studios do quarter scales they also do one tenth scales so look at that Pennywise oh, Pennywise from Ch it chapter 2 yeah so he's running through a sewer sewer pipe and uh, there's balloons all around him and he's a clown but also there's water, sewer water, and it's dripping. But it's, it's gross. dripping. It's it's green. It's green, but it's also kind of semi-translucent. So there's there's that. And there's bricks and cement. And he's got hair. Yeah, and his tongue's out. That's a thing. It's a yeah. long tongue. It does come with a different portrait as well. With the no. tongue? No. So Sans tongue. Yeah. Uh, no, this a standard portrait uh, with, without his tongue exposed like that, but... Yeah, really awesome piece. Uh, this isn't one of their more deluxe uh, 110 scale pieces. No, it's extra, hence, uh, extra deluxe. A little more uh, of a price, an increased price on that one. It's $349.99, but the balloons, all of it, the water effects, the act, I really like the time. Yeah. And, uh, and to your point, the sculpting on a 110 scale piece doesn't get better than Art Studios. They are uh, leading the industry in this, this um, scale. Um, their art series is just incredible. So definitely check it out. Um, we have a mini bust from Sergeant Collectibles um, of Superman, and he's got a nice um, kind of Kryptonian crystal base. Yeah, really um, awesome. Uh, Fortress of Solitude kind of uh, base there. And it's really um, well sculpted 3D wise. Like, you can look at this from any angle, and for a bust, it's pretty rare to get that. Like, you normally you have a front on view, and that's pretty much. The, the, the gist of it but they've um they've sculpted it really well and all kind of the bits where they've cut it off they've kind of pinched it really nicely so it doesn't look out of place yeah but uh yeah Sidra will be nailing uh this kind of uh, scale i think it's a, still a quarter scale uh bust line uh you know they've got one woman batman they've also done thanos the Wolverine, Wolverine. thanos yeah. uh and they're gonna keep going with it because it's uh been really well uh made and uh Awesome to display. You can grab that one for $450. Let's We've pick it up. Three, three, new, three, new, three new statues from PCS. They are now doing one ten scale PVC statues. Uh, they are better known for their polystone work, but they've got this new line coming out. And the Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, are part of this range. And we've got Black Ranger uh, and what's the, what are their names? Golda and Rita Repulsa. Yeah, uh, no one let me watch it. 
<laughs> yeah, too, too scary. Fighting teenagers, promotes violence, yes, yeah. all that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, really, really awesome figures. Uh, and of course, PCS don't stop with Power Rangers. There's TMNT, uh, there's awesome other. GI Joe, really awesome. Yo Joe! Awesome. Yo Joe. Really but, great. 100 bucks yeah, each? 100 bucks each. These Power Rangers ones are not to be missed. I'm sure that they'll expand. And the last statue. Also uh, PCS. That we're going to talk about, yeah, is uh, PCS from Marvel Spider Man. Uh, this one's video game. Polystone. This one is Polystone. It's and one and one's uh, And it's one of the uh, Spider Man suits that you can wear in the game, based off of the comic book with Ben Riley. Did you go on? I think it was. But, anyway. uh, but uh, yeah, one tenth. And you can rep for $170. Good stuff. Hey, awesome. uh, let's jump over to Handsome Will and let's knock out <laughs> some records. And then we're going to finish with some board games and action figures. And then we're going to spin that wheel, baby. Beautiful. All right. I've um, picked out some records again this week for you guys. So I'm just going to go through them, give a little spiel about each one. And yeah, hopefully you'll like it. This is first up, we've got Bjork. Um, this is a lovely album she came out with recently. It's full of like bird song and flute. It's got a lot of Icelandic sort of influence from her background um yeah it's just like a really cool album she's the queen of pop it's yeah worth a listen for sure um we've got cigarettes after sex here an album that i personally really enjoy it's like pop noir um any activities <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> um it's like pop noir so thumbs up basically it's a lot of yeah, ambient music it's really nice it's like Andy, uh, music ambient. <laughs> 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 Um, they recorded it in the stairwell of like a four story building, and yeah, it's a great album. Um, I recommend that one. one. Most of you will know um, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Um, it's a compilation album, so it includes their best works from a bunch of other albums of the era. I think it was the fourth album they came out with, so it include a bunch of songs from their first three albums. Um, yeah, basically, kings of rock, uh, folk rock music, they, they released some of the best. Um, here we've got Crowded House, a really heartfelt album. So they came out with this one after their drummer passed away, unfortunately. They came out with this one, I think, in like 2005. So a pretty decent gap since their 90s works. Um, yeah, it's really heartfelt. Great lyrics throughout the album. Definitely worth checking out. Um, here we've got another one that I love. Um, Dad actually got me onto these guys, Dinosaur Jr. Bug. Um, it's got an awesome track on here called Freak Scene, which I think is a song everyone should know. It's a bit of um, shoegazing, 90s sort of alt rock, I suppose. Bit of stoner um, rock. Yeah, yeah, bit of stoner rock. They use a lot of heavy distortion in their music. They've got great lyrics from Jay Mascus. It's definitely an album worth checking out. Um, changing up a little bit, we've got a couple rap albums here. So first up, we've got Danny Brown. Um, he's an off-kilter sort of rapper. He, he doesn't quite hit on the beats with his lyrics, which makes him really unique. Um, definitely raps that are still worth listening to and really cool. He's got some awesome producers and features on this album. And it's just, yeah, it's like a really unique experimental album. Something refreshing from the past decade, I suppose. Um, more stoner music, I suppose, is this album here. Um, basically, it's, yeah, like, sort of SoundCloud stoner rap. Um, it's limited to 2,000 units, and it's pressed on uh, exclusive colorway. Um, yeah, it's just, like, a really laid-back, chill rap music that you could just listen to while laying in your bed. Um, next up, we've got one of the most sort of prominent um, producers and creators in the electronic scene of the past 20, 30 years. Um, we've got Eno and Kale collaborating on Wrong Way Up. Um, it's a really cool sort of synthy electronic album. Um, one of their best works, I think, and that's saying something with their library. Is that Brain Eno? Yeah, yeah, Brain Eno, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian Eno. <laughs> Um, now we've got Cat Power. Um, this is one of my favourite albums, though. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, basically a little bit of history on it. She almost gave up music. Um, she woke up one night in the middle of the night after a nightmare, as she told um, interviewers, and that nightmare inspired her to then create music while she was in a barn in South America somewhere. And basically, yeah, she came out with an amazing um, alternative music album. Um, any words from Andy? I think this one um, was recorded in Melbourne. I was oh, so some, um, the some of the bad scenes are actually oh, the back okay. band on that one, um, but it's awesome. You can definitely check it out. Yeah, um, it, Cat Power's earlier stuff is a lot more gritty, a lot more raw. Yeah, really yeah. low fi So it's definitely worth checking out. I just might do that, Andrew. 
recommend you do. Well, That's Andy's recommendation for the week. My power on with that one. Um, and now we have a massive one, the Eagles Legacy wow. box set. This is um, 15 LPs. It's probably one of the longest listings on our website that we've ever put up. Um, it's a massive box set. I think it's gone for about $530. Um, it's got everything. It's got all their studio albums, everything from their early sort of country music, and then their transition to more of the hard rock scene. Um, classic band, everyone knows them, they're incredibly iconic. Um, yeah, just all the Eagles works. So they have a Hotel California. It has like four versions. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to listen to Hotel California. Alright, so that's everything from me. That's awesome. guys. Thank you, handsome. Well, once again, probably the most uh, informative aspect. It's definitely much informative than the rest of it. Yeah. Hey, uh, we've got some board games that we're going to be absolutely mm, not. Let's just be about. quick. Let's just be uh, quick. Uh, Avengers, Monopoly, it's got a bunch of uh, the Avengers, they're all gold. You know them, you've seen the movies. I've never played Monopoly. It's Monopoly. Uh, Andy, let's just talk about the thing that you want to talk about. Right, Jurassic Park, Monopoly. Um, this is Jurassic Park, Monopoly. Oh, but it has. There we go. Uh, if we look at the back, you see that there's the T Rex, uh, and then there's all the human characters, and um, there's a gate which makes this, the music. You play the music when you play Monopoly, and that's, that's playing two things at once, which I'm a fan of. And we've got the Mandalorian Monopoly, uh, and all the characters are busts of the main characters from the, from the series. Um, and yeah, uh, this is one of the Hasbro releases. We'll find like a Hasbro release. Monopoly, they're a bit more fleshed out than um, some of the other licensed ones. Yeah, but more of a, less of a win one. Yeah, um, so they've got a lot more additional pieces, a lot of sounds and things like that. But anyway, Funko Games, Fast and Furious fans, you might want to pick up Fast and Furious, highly high, so I don't know anything about this game, but hey, there yeah, is tanks, um, semi trailers, and helicopters, and it looks like you do something on a road. And it's a driving film, so I assume it's a driving game, and that's a cooperative strategy <laughs> game from Prospero Hall. Don't, 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 don't play when you're driving. That's a recommendation. Uh, we have some chess. We've got a collector's chess set of, um, of Marvel. And if you like playing chess, but you also like Marvel, well, hey, why not? Pick it up. Um, all the bad guys on one side, and all the good guys uh, another side. And um, that's, that's that. That's that game. Um, and I don't know, I'll talk about the price in a minute. Funkoverse have released some Avengers lines. Um, you can grab. This one, there's a chase piece. This one's apparently got a chase piece. Yeah, yeah, that's the metallic. Uh, um, it says so that's the only uh, the chase piece on that one. It's Black Panther and metallic. Uh, the standard version of it is uh, just, just the standard. Paint. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Thanos and we've got this now. Funkiverse. It's a strategy game. You can pick up their Harry Potter line. You can pick up the Golden Girls line. You can pick up their Avengers line, and they all work together, and you get little miniature pop miles um, from Funko Games. Hey Mickeys, it's a game. How many hidden Mickeys can you find? There's a timer, and there's some cards, and you can look for hidden Mickeys. Yeah, so you hide them around uh, your house, uh, and uh, you have to find them. Banana Games, this is a game, it's a classic game, it comes with a banana bag. That is my girlfriend's absolute favourite game. And uh, you got the tiles for Banana Games. Classic, all time classic. Don't need to tell you much about it. Hey, uh, from Funko Games, we've got uh, Toy Story Talent Show. It's an exciting game with bouncing, tosh, tossing, <laughs> roping, and uh, it's rolling fun. Toss um, the there's horseshoes, there's, um, man, I don't know, Toy Story related things. Yeah. I saw this one earlier, Mad Tea Party. Again, another Funko Games uh, inspired uh, licensed game. You got stack them. Pretty much stacking on a really wobbly table. Uh, it's, a, it's a Mad Tea Party, uh, and uh, it looks like a lot of fun. The last board game that we're going to talk about is a Harry, Harry Potter, Potter House Cup competition. This looks complex, so I'm only going to try. But if you like Harry Potter and you like spending your evenings figuring out games, this is probably one for you. Yeah, definitely. Some final products that we're going to talk about, mainly action figures. We've got an awesome Marvel Legends uh, MODOK action this is figure. Huge. This is a massive figure. Uh, and 199. Really awesome. No, it's 99. It's 99. Uh, but yeah, really awesome. It does come with two uh, facial expressions. You can swap it out. You can swap out and another set of hands. Also, really awesome. Uh, there is going to be an animated series featuring Modoc, uh, and he's also the big bad in the Marvel's Avengers video game that came out last year. Good stuff. Anyway, Modoc, yeah. checking that out. Josh, we've got something to talk about. From Mattel and WWF, we have the WrestleMania line. So we have Macho Man Randy Savage with his big biceps and triceps. And it's cool glasses, and we also have Andre the Giant. It's pretty sweet. They come in these, like, kind of... Yeah, well, that's what they... That was what, for one of the WrestleManias, I think it was WrestleMania 3, is what they rode into the ring on. 
Is it? Yeah. Oh man, that is cool then. Uh, yeah, from Mattel, available now on the website. Sweet, from Figma. Uh, sorry, good mom, we've got some Figma toys. Uh, if you like, um, what is this, Kid Icarus? I can't remember what the game's called. Uh, Kid Icarus Rising, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, we've got uh, Pit and Dark Pit. Two options. Sweet. 199 each, free shipping. How many times have I said that episode? Wow. Well, uh, awesome. Hey, a we've got a uh, replica of the 1989 um, Batman Batarang, and it folds up, and it folds up, and freaking Batarang, man, life size. It comes with a stand, you can display it, um, and it's it's only fifty dollars, so it's a no, it's only thirty nine ninety nine. Oh wow, ten dollars. Uh, so that's from NECA. Nice to see them doing some replicas again. Talk about the fine. One of my favourite uh, toy manufacturers, mainly because they have the DC Comics license. Uh, I thought it was because you loved Tom McFarlane. I do actually, I really like Tom McFarlane. Awesome. Uh, I know him personally. I definitely don't. You but, don't uh, you were the worst. <laughs> liar. Pathological. Uh, but uh, The Flash, Earth 52, this is an awesome gold label. Uh, pretty much McFarlane's limited uh, version. Uh, line of action figures, uh, got a little bit of a gold bearing on him, a couple figures from Injustice, uh, Godzilla, uh, oh, sorry, not Godzilla, it's uh, Gorilla Grog, uh, really awesome to see that deal, Godzilla Grog, Godzilla Grog, uh, and then finally we've got the Batman White Knight, this is a red edition uh, of him, so they do a couple of different skins and versions of some awesome sculpts, really it's awesome, bearing. $34.99 each, great uh, price, awesome. Josh, Josh, you guys, I just really hope they do a movie about Gorilla Grog. That's the only really like silverback gorillas. Speaking of big monkeys, um, we've got a, a new Kong figure from NECA. Now, this is not based on the original film. Um, the King Kong license is um, in the public domain. Um, but you can pick up this painted version variant of King Kong, which is actually based on uh, a magazine cover uh, from the 70s. Um, very iconic one. The name is eluding me, but um, Empire it, Magazine. It does have more of like a um, a painted colour kind of aesthetic, which is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, really great figure. Awesome. I'm a big fan of Necker's uh, Kong line. Sixty dollars. Um, one of your favourite movies, and probably one yeah, of mine. The Shining. The, um, <laughs> the Grady twins, which weren't twins, but that's a, that's a point of difference. But hey, I think they've actually sculpted these differently, so they're actually not twins. Um, but uh, Two New Terrors, this is great. Imagine if Scooby Doo had like a great horror like villain yeah. in it. Um, really awesome. This line. is cool. Uh, so they come as a set. Uh, you can cut out the back, put a little backdrop on there. But uh, they display really well. It's kind of got a cinema kind of aesthetic on the box. I'm a big fan of this line that Nick is doing. And the last thing we're going to talk about uh, today is uh, an awesome line of figures. Uh, that Waxworks. Uh, so Waxwork Records? Waxwork Records. And yeah, it's yeah. that first endeavor in the collectibles, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, this is their spinaches. So pretty much you can either have a, an awesome little bust of this on your shelf, or what you can do is you can take it out of the packaging and sit it on uh, your vinyl record as it's a player, as it spins around, and like the title suggests, uh, it spins, spins. Spinacher. Make a record things. Spinacher, miniature. Yeah, awesome. Frankenstein, they're doing a lot of the awesome uh, Universal Monsters. Uh, so, Frankenstein, we've got Bride of Frankenstein coming. Uh, Are they doing the creature from the Black Lagoon? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we've got they leave Halloween all on their way. Halloween 3. Get the three But uh, don't things. forget to check out all the other amazing Waxwork Records yeah. uh, products that we have. Have you put any up for Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think there's some up there. That's the show. We've got some more surprises too. Give away. Handsome Will, we're going to palm it over to you, mate. Uh, let's right. get this. Spin this thing around. around. First spin will be the Boba Fett backpack. Alright, first spin for the backpack. Cool. No lead time in that one, Will. Uh, you win it. Win those. What do we got? Um, Athariah. Cezana. Congratulations, what please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, email address. We'll get this sweet backpack sent out to you first thing next week. Uh, second spin, we'll spin for the Dark Vader Pop Culture exclusive Pop Mile Vigor. Sweet for the Vader. That's a spin, that's a spin, handsome. Now, if it doesn't land on the same person, we will spin again. 
It hasn't. Haley Jackson. Congratulations, Haley. You won the uh, Dark Vader uh, Pop Culture Exclusive Pop Vinyl Figure. Please just send us a message on Facebook with your um, postal information, email address, and uh, the name that we should send it out to. That would be awesome. Sweet. Third, uh, third spin for the Star Wars Collector Box. Leash Tetley. Congratulations. Uh, again, please send us a private message on Facebook, name, postal information, email address. We get this sweet collector box and out to you. Hey, sir. Well done, Leash. <laughs> hey, Cindy, uh, why don't you wrap the show up for us today? Oh, uh, sweet right. uh, Well, thanks for tuning in. It was uh, quite a long episode today, but hopefully you learned something. I know that I do. No, you didn't. I did. I learned a lot of prices uh, on this episode. I learned that we have a lot of stuff in stock that you can check out on the website. Man, my ears are ringing. Uh, my name's Sandy. That's Andy over there. That's Josh. Handsome Will. Thanks, Dan, for standing there and uh, pointing the camera. You did the real work today. Thanks, Dan. You have. Dan. Uh, uh, congratulations <laughs> to all the winners. We'll be here next week, uh, same time as usual. But until then, I hope you have a good weekend and a good week. Uh, and and uh, thanks. It's been, it's been a show. Pop culture out. Pop culture out. Word.